Hi guys, this is Lou from Valley Haven Family School and I'm going to give you a peek inside of my 13 year old son's eighth grade homeschool curriculum for this year. I'm gonna turn the camera around now and give you a peek inside his books. The first thing I wanna show you is his Bible study. And this comes from Cat and Dog Theology and they were the keynote speakers for the youth at the homeschool convention that we went to this year. And after my son heard them speak, he said, Mom, I want to do that Bible study. So um, this is the this is the student book and he this is this he will work on on his own. And these are the three books that go with it. And as you can see on the front cover, it says it teaches kids how to follow Jesus in their everyday lives, how to have a daily attitude that glorifies God, how to have a quiet time with God, how to study and memorize God's word, how to lead and serve like Jesus, and how to creatively share their faith. These are the three books that accompany the work text. The first one is called The Positive Dog, and it says on the jacket sleeve, discover the benefits of being positive. We all have two dogs inside of us. One dog is positive, happy, optimistic, and hopeful. The other dog is negative, mad, sad, pessimistic, and fearful. These two dogs often fight inside us, but guess who wins the fight? And this is a little bit of what it looks like inside. second book is called Emma's Story, which is a Turkish orphan finds hope, a family, and a future. And from the back, Tara is a missionary in Turkey looking for a miracle in her persistent requests to volunteer at an orphanage. Graham and Becky are a middle-aged American couple who are called to minister alongside Tara, where they have no experience and no resources. Emma is a little girl who is born into a drug-ridden and violent family and through a series of events finds herself in the very same orphanage. And this book looks really good too. And just there's no pictures, it's just a... And the third book is called... Oops. The third book is called I Heard Good News Today 3. Faith Adventures with God, and this is a book of missionary stories. And he is really looking forward to this. The bulk of his curriculum is coming from Memoria Press, and this is their 8th grade curriculum manual. I've cut and pasted and customized it for the levels that he will be working at. And this is a, a look at what the curriculum manual pages look like. You can see on the left side here, it's got the literature, math, geography, science, classical Christian studies, and this is, this is Latin. And this is composition. And this is grammar. And I've had to adjust the levels a little bit since we've never used this before. And the rest of it is more of the same. And in the back, they've got um, different appendixes and articles that are really helpful. There's a memorization and recitation instructions introduction to Shakespeare different biographies and that's what the manual looks like okay first stack here is his English grammar recitation and this is the this is the manual and this this has five different levels of English recitation. Catechism, I guess, is the best word for it. Um, questions and answers. And 
since he's never done this before, he'll be starting at level two. And this is the teacher manual. It's got all of the answers to the student workbook. And this is the student book. Here's what a lesson looks like. It's got a lesson, it's got some copy work and then some practice exercises. And he's got core skills, language arts, grade eight, which is mechanics, parts of speech, research skills, sentences, and writing. And here's what some pages in here look like. And finally, for that stack is his recitation flashcards. And that's what they look like. Next is classical composition, and he'll be starting this from the beginning level, which is called Fable. And he will work through two of these levels this year. The second level is called Narrative. And this is DVD, instructional DVDs. This is just a notebook. And this is the, what the student book looks like. He's going to be working with fables. Learning different writing techniques. And the uh, teacher guide, which is, it's got a small copy of the student book with the answers and then it has some teaching instructions. Again, in the back, there's some helpful articles and appendixes explaining things. And I got him Teach Yourself Cursive Penmanship Workbook for Adults and Older Students. He still has a lot of trouble. He's been having a lot of trouble learning cursive, so I'm hoping this is going to be helpful for him. And that's what that looks like. Towards the back. These are all his literature. The first one is Poetry and Short Stories. American Literature, 19th and 20th centuries. This is the text. It's got poems, and it also has some short stories. Well, that's okay. Okay, and a teacher guide, which is student text with answers. And the student book. So he'll be reading and then answering questions, definitions. <laughs> then he's going to be reading several classic books. The first one is Treasure Island. Came with a nice hardcover copy of the book. And again, the teacher guides. 
and the student book, student study guide. And that's what that looks like inside. The second book is Tom Sawyer. Again, a nice hardback copy. And the student guide and the teacher guide. And the third book is, the third novel is The Wind in the Willows. And the teacher guide and the student guide. The last book is on back order, still waiting for that one. It's As You Like It by William Shakespeare with a student guide and a teacher guide and also a book about William Shakespeare that looks really good. Colorful, pretty pictures. And for his enrichment history, he's got two books about ancient studies, The Book of the Ancient World by Dorothy Mills and The Book of the Ancient Greeks by Dorothy Mills. And these are pretty heavy duty books. I'm probably gonna have to help him with these. There's lots of maps and pictures. And then he's got Student and teacher guides. They all look similar. Teacher guides got the answers. And he'll be studying the Iliad and the Odyssey. These both come with DVD and instructional DVDs, as well as the complete books. student guides, and teacher guides. These are his materials to study first form Latin. It comes with an instructional DVD. And a CD with a pronunciation guide and lessons. It comes with first form Latin student text. There's a little bit of what that looks like. The workbook. another workbook for me so that I can learn Latin along with him. The teacher manual, which is again the answers and the teaching guide. The teacher key and the quizzes and the tests. There's the quizzes and the tests. And to go along with that program called Lingua Angelica, Christian Latin Music and Prayers. And this is a Christian Latin reading course. Student book, song book. teacher manual, and again, another student book for mom, and 
a complete set of flashcards. It's got the English on one side, the Latin on the other side. He's also requested a course on finance and how to manage his money. He's been asking me how he can invest. So I've gotten him the Foundations in Personal Finance Middle School Edition for Home School. Uh, and this is put out by Dave Ramsey. It comes with the textbook and it also comes with instructional DVDs. table of contents covers saving and budgeting, credit and debt, education, careers and entrepreneurship, investing, insurance, identity theft, global economics and marketing and consumerism. My final stack is his geography and exploring and mapping the world. This is the text. Lots of illustrations and maps. And the student workbook, where he'll be doing all his map work. The teacher guide. Here's the answers. And a great big stack of geography flashcards. And these are most, these cover all of the continents. I've got them, I've got them rubber banded into continents. And then in the set, it's got a flag on one side. And then on the and the name, and on the other side, it has the map where it's located. And also in this stack is his science, which is exploring planet Earth, the journey of discovery from early civilization to future exploration. Supplemental student questions. The teacher key and tests. And Rand McNelly Classroom Atlas. The only thing I do not have yet is his math. He will be using Rod and Staff 8th grade math. And as soon as I get that, I will post a flip through of that for you.